the combined ratio explained. Underwriting results are a key indicator of insurer profitability, and the most common financial measure of underwriting results is the combined ratio. This ratio is used to indicate whether an insurer is making an underwriting loss or gain. An insurer's combined ratio is determined by adding two separate ratios together. The first component of the combined ratio is an insurer's loss ratio. The loss ratio measures how much of each premium dollar the insurer uses to pay losses and loss-adjusted expenses. For example, if an insurance company collects $1 million in premiums, and must pay out $750,000 to cover claims and claims-related expenses, the insurer has a loss ratio of 75%. The second component of the combined ratio is an insurer's expense ratio. The expense ratio indicates how much of each premium dollar is used to pay all the costs of acquiring, writing, and servicing insurance. Costs such as employee wages, commissions, reinsurance costs, and marketing costs all contribute to an insurer's expense ratio. Using the same $1 million in premium, if an insurer spends $200,000 on expenses, they have an expense ratio of 20%. In this case, if an insurer's loss ratio of 75% is added to their expense ratio of 20%, the insurer's combined ratio is determined to be 95%. This means 95 cents of every premium dollar is used by the insurer to pay losses and expenses the insurer incurs. So, what does this all mean? A combined ratio of more than 100% means that an insurance company had more losses and expenses than earned premiums and lost money on its underwriting operations. A combined ratio of less than 100% means that the insurer is making a profit from underwriting insurance. The lower the combined ratio is, below 100%, the greater the insurer's underwriting profit is. Conversely, the higher the combined ratio is above 100%, the greater the underwriting loss is. Using the previous example, the insurer's combined ratio of 95% indicates they are making an underwriting profit. A combined ratio of 80% would indicate a greater underwriting profit, whereas a combined ratio of 105% would indicate that the insurer is losing money on the insurance policies it underwrote by paying $1.05 for every premium dollar it took in. Combined ratios are an essential measure of an insurance company's financial health and can be used by insurance companies to make strategic decisions about underwriting practices and their market strategy. Agents and brokers, as well as their insureds, can also use the combined ratio of an insurer to get a quick look at their underwriting and financial strength. What's more, the combined ratio can also be expressed at the industry level. There are reports that indicate the collective combined ratio for insurers on a particular line of insurance. For example, if a report states that U.S.-based commercial property insurers have a combined ratio of 105%, that would indicate that the commercial property insurance industry, as a whole, is not making an underwriting profit, but individual insurers may still be making an underwriting profit.